Meteor ships out of the box with a couple of packages for automatically handling user login and accounts. It even lets you log in with external services like GitHub. In this episode, we'll look at how to use the automatic login UI that Meteor ships, and then we'll look at how to build our own so that we can get a customized user interface and grab custom attributes from the GitHub service. First, let's create a new Meteor project. We'll call it Accounts. Then we'll add two packages. We'll add the accounts GitHub package so that we can authenticate against GitHub. And then we'll also add the accounts UI package to give us some pre-made user interface controls. Okay, next, I wanna clean up this directory a little bit. And so I'm going to remove all of the uh, pre-made files. And we'll just start from scratch. Next, let's create two folders, one for client and one for server, so that we don't have to check whether or not we're on the client or the server when we're writing our code. Meteor will do this automatically for us based on the folder name, client and server. Next, in the server directory, I'm going to create a new file. And I'll call it just config.js. And this is where we'll configure authentication with the GitHub service. Here we'll tell Meteor how to authenticate to the GitHub API. Meteor will automatically store the login credentials in our MongoDB instance. So we just have to insert that record. So first thing we're going to do is to see whether or not a service record already exists for GitHub and, and remove them if it does. And next, we're going to insert a new record for the GitHub service. Client ID will supply in a second from GitHub, and same for our secret. Next, log into GitHub and then click on Account Settings and then Applications. Here we're going to register a new application. Uh, so that our application can talk with GitHub to authenticate our users. So first I'll click on new, register a new application. And here I'll just call the application Meteor Authentication. And for the main URL, since I'm in development, I'll use localhost. And for the callback URL, we'll use underscore OAuth, the name of the service, and then a close query parameter to tell Meteor to close the authentication window when we're done. So now we'll have a client ID and a client secret that we can use in our configuration to communicate with the GitHub API. Then we'll take the client ID and secret that we just got from GitHub and paste it back in the config.js file. Next, let's create an index.html file in the client folder. Now I'll paste in some boilerplate code. Then we can use the Meteor Accounts UI package to automatically put a login button on the page for us. We can do this with the login buttons helper that that package creates for us. Then I'll check whether or not the user is logged in by calling if current user. And if they are logged in, I'll display their login. Now let's jump to the browser and see if this works. We'll start the server by just typing Meteor. And then we see at the top of the browser here that we have an automatic login button that was created for us from Meteor. Let's click it. And we see the authorization prompt come up from GitHub. We'll click Allow. And great, we see that we're logged in and my login name is printed to the left of the button. If you look down into the debug console and you expand local storage, you can see that the login information is actually stored in HTML5 local storage and not in a cookie. If I click log out, you can see that the login token and user ID that Meteor stores in local storage are removed. 
With the media server started, let's log into the local Meteor Mongo instance so we can take a look at the user record that was created. I'll type Meteor Mongo, and that will connect to the local instance. Next, let's query for the user that we just created. We can see that Meteor populated a user record for us automatically. But what if I want to create my own user interface for the login controls? and also grab some custom information from GitHub. For example, here I'm using the Bootstrap library, and up in the upper right-hand corner I have an avatar image displaying next to a menu, and then within the menu I have the logout button. Let's look at how we can do this. First I'll add the Bootstrap package. And then I'll start the server so that we can see the changes as we're making them. Okay, next let's get rid of this code and paste in some boilerplate bootstrap. You can see that we still have a head at the top and then we have a body that just renders a, redder, a header template. And then within the header template we have some standard bootstrap uh, divs and classes for creating the nav bar that you see at the top on the right. So let's fill in each one of these templates one by one. First, we'll just render the user info template. Then we'll just check if the user is logged in. And if they are, we'll display the user logged in template. And if they're not, we'll display the user logged out template. In the user logged in template, I'm going to cut and paste some code and explain it. First, you need to check whether or not the user is currently logging in. Now, that happens if uh, Meteor's going through the login process, but it just hasn't completed yet. In the else statement, I include a list item with an image, and I'm going to set the image source to the current user.profile.avatar URL. We haven't gotten that information yet, but we'll get it in a second. And then the next list item will be a bootstrap dropdown, which will show the current user.profile.login. And then just as an example, I've created a dropdown menu with the first list item being an account settings uh, and the second list item being a divider, and then the logout button being the last list item. Finally, we'll fill out the user logged out template, which is just simply one line. It's just going to be one list item with an anchor of an ID with login that says login with GitHub. And we can see over on the right hand side that our user interface is actually updating in real time as we update the code, which is pretty cool. Now let's go write some JavaScript. I've created a new JavaScript file called index.js and I put it in the client directory. So let's now create some event handlers to handle our login and logout events. So first I'll handle the login event. The login button is on the user log is on the user logged out template. So I'll type template.user logged out and call the events method in which I'll handle the click event on the login anchor. And then within that I'll just call meteor.login with GitHub. And as a parameter I'll pass an object with some request parameters. Uh, in this case, request permissions. And I want GitHub to give me a, a token that has permissions for user and public repo. And you can look at the GitHub API documentation for the different types of request permissions. As a second parameter, we can pass a callback function that takes one parameter, error. And then if there's an error, we can do some error handling here. And if no error, we could do something else, like for example, show an alert. Okay, next let's handle the logout event. The logout button is on our user logged in template. So I'll type user 
or template.user logged in and then call the events method and pass in a map of events. So we'll listen to the logout click or the click on the logout anchor. And when the user clicks logout, we just call meteor.logout. And this takes one parameter, a function, which will return an error, or, or will accept an error if there is one, as the parameter. And if there's an error, we can show an error message. Otherwise, maybe show an alert that says logged out. Okay, finally, I want to grab some custom attributes from GitHub. So to do that, I'm going to tap into the onCreateUser method that Meteor provides us to do some custom things with the user before it gets created. So first I'm going to create a file in server called accounts.js. And within that file I'm going to call accounts.onCreateUser, which takes a function which accepts some options and the user object. And what I can do here is I can change the user before insert before Meteor inserts it into the database. So I'll do some things to the user object and then I'll just return it. And that'll be the object that gets put into our users table. I've cut and pasted some code into the onCreateUser callback function, but let me just quickly explain it. First I'm going to grab the access token from the user.services.github object. And then I'm going to use the Meteor HTTP method to make a GET request to API, the get, uh, GitHub API. And I'll pass in the access token as a parameter. If there's an error, I'll just go ahead and throw it. And if not, I'm going to use the underscore pick method to pull out the keys that I want from the result.data. And so here I'll grab the avatar URL, an email, and a bunch of other fields that I might want. Finally, I set the user.profile equal to the profile that we just created, and then I return the user. And this is what's going to get inserted into our MongoDB instance. Okay, when I open the browser to see whether or not this works, it looks like we have an error, and it says that it cannot call the method events of undefined on line 15. And it looks like that's just because I misspelled it. So let me just change that and hit save. And Meteor will update the browser for me automatically. Great, now let's just see if it works. Great, so it looks like we have an avatar image showing and we have my login name showing on the right and if I click log out, I'm logged out.